All right, guys, we got the Ninja Turbo jump ramp. Pretty sweet. Let's check it out. So here's what it looks like when you take it out of the box in the folded up position. And this ramp goes for about $219 US, weighs in at only 13 pounds, which is very lightweight. And as you can see here, it folds up quite compact. It's got these like flexible ropes that like cinch it all together and keep everything tight. And you can just see the quality of the wood, the layered plywood here and everything, and that rubber on the bottom of the foot pad there, that nice thick rubber, make sure the ramp doesn't slip. And notice here the backpack straps, which is quite nice. Now this is a bit on the smaller side, perfect for those just getting into jumping, like my son Jace, for example, who's just starting to dip his toes into the mountain bike world. Now, when it comes to putting this thing together, it's very easy, very straightforward has these little notches on the side and this ramp is adjustable from 10 inches to 13 inches in height. So just depending on where you have it on these little notches will dictate the height of the ramp. And again, four panels, so it's very smooth when launching. And it also has a nice like bevel on the end here, as you can see. So the plywood gets very low to the ground for those smaller wheels. You know, think scooters, skateboards, smaller bikes, things like that. Even RC cars, you can jump off this beast. Now, with a focus on exceptional strength and stability, this kicker ramp has been designed for riders of all levels to learn. Ride like a ninja. This ramp does have a weight limit of 225 pounds, and that's combined rider and bike weight, so keep that in mind. And for the record, I am very close to the max weight threshold when using my Polygon T6E and T8 full suspension mountain bikes. Now, let's go test this thing, shall we? So you can see here in the street, I'm just going off the ramp, doing some jumping. Now the ramp is pretty steep. It's, it's known as a kicker, so it's gonna like kick you up into the air. So what that means is you can't really hit it at full speed um, because it'll actually buck you off. Um, it'll grab the back wheel and kind of buck you off um, if you hit it too fast. But, you know, I got a lot of experience over the years going off jumps and stuff, so it's not that big of a deal. I just compress the suspension fully and and then just launch off it, leaning back a little bit. Now here, I was just using it to launch up my retaining wall, and you can see how much the ramp like flexed there. And then I almost ate it here going down. Um, you can see there. But uh, overall, pretty smooth. Lots of fun. And I'm uh, really looking forward to using this more and more. Uh, especially in some cool locations. Now, taking this apart, it's very easy. All you got to do is just pull down a little bit on the side feet things to unhook them, and you just flop them on the top, and then you do like a crisscross applesauce uh, situation here with the cords, and that will cinch everything up, as you can see here. Just go across like that, and now it's ready to go. So now you can just throw it on like a backpack. And uh, it's so cool that it has these straps included and stuff like that. And underneath, the support has like these notches for your spine. So um, it's not going to dig into you when you're riding. It's actually very comfortable to wear, believe it or not. It only weighs a little bit. So it's spread out evenly across the back. And it's not going to be a problem even if going over bumps and stuff. So, All right, guys. I really hope you got what you were looking for in this Ninja Turbo Kicker Jump Ramp Review. And be sure to check out the links below. Um, they make a bunch of different ramps at a bunch of different sizes and scales and price points and so forth. This is the most affordable one that I thought was worth getting, um, especially for my son, Jace, who's just learning. So, all right, guys, thanks again. I will catch up with you later. Take care.